This project shows how to use sterling silver sheet to create a pair of pierced earrings. We're going to focus on the use of a saw for piercing, filing, and engraving the lines. We dome the metal, we have to make sure that it's soft and workable. Now what happens is as you work metal, it becomes harder. Uh, the grains become stretched through working and the metal becomes less malleable. Now what would happen if you uh, went to dome this now is that it would bend at the very thinnest points and you'd actually get creases. The way to make the metal soft is to anneal it. And what that means is to heat it up and quench it, which forces the grains to reorganize into a small random pattern and the metal is more malleable that way. Now there's another thing to deal with and that is fire scale and tarnish. When you heat metal with a torch, it oxidizes. And that's uh, okay on most metals, but on silver it's not okay because what will happen is that the copper that's below the surface will become oxidized and you'll get a purplish grayish kind of shadow that's just below the surface that you see sometimes. That's called fire scale. One way to prevent that is to coat the metal with a flux or something like a glaze which seals the metal off from the air and prevents the oxygen from reaching the surface. This is a solution of boric acid and alcohol. Boric acid is like borax, it's something like a flux. And so when we heat it up, it's going to glaze over and seal the metal from the atmosphere and prevent the oxygen from getting to the surface. The alcohol carries the boric acid. And as soon as you ignite it, you can see that the alcohol burns off. And that leaves a very thin coat of this white boric acid powder. There are different uh, formulas and different compounds that you can purchase. This is the simplest to just buy powdered boric acid, not granular, but powdered boric acid. There are three types of flames. This is fuel only. This is called a reducing flame. Whatever oxygen is in the air is consumed and all that's left is the fuel. As you add oxygen, which is what I'm doing slowly, and the yellow disappears, this is a neutral flame. It's balanced and all the oxygen that's being added is being used up with the fuel. As you add oxygen and the flame becomes hot and it becomes a hissing flame, then you have extra oxygen. This is called an oxidizing flame. And if you heat the metal with this kind of flame, the extra, extra oxygen can combine with the copper that's below the surface and form copper oxides, which will give you fire scale. And that's something you don't want to happen. So you, you can use a, a neutral flame, a slightly reducing flame, with just the tip having a little bit of yellow, and heat the metal very softly, very slowly. You can see that the boric acid liquefies and coats the surface. So you want to heat the metal until it's got the very, very faintest hint of a red color. And that's sometimes difficult to see and it might help if you turn out the lights so that you can see the color of the metal more clearly. You want to heat it very, very evenly in actuality, all of the metal doesn't have to be the same temperature at the same time, but it all has to reach the same temperature at one time or another. And that's just about it. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna overheat the metal. Now all uh, precious metals are quenched immediately except for nickel, white golds, which are treated a little bit differently.